King, Jonathan Thurston, arguably the greatest NRL player of all time. JT's on our games team. Of course, there's a big debate going on in Queensland right now as to whether we should continue with our bid for the 2032 Olympics. I think it's a no-brainer. But uh, if you look at the splash, Alexis, gee, state of dismay. Bombshell poll shows just 31% think we're heading in the right direction. Anastasia Palaszczuk is facing a rising tidal wave of Queenslanders cranky at the direction of the state, with their numbers rivaling the uprising before the Bly government was dumped from office. I mean, that was the 2015, sorry, the 2012 rout where the Labor Party was reduced to just eight members. So, gee, this is not good news for Anastasia Palaszczuk. As Ms Palaszczuk today celebrates five years since being sworn in as Queensland's 39th Premier, an exclusive poll has revealed a record, lumber, uh, record low number of voters believe the state is heading in the right direction. Now, of course, we saw a poll only a week ago, Alexis, where Anastasia Palaszczuk's popularity numbers had plummeted off the back of, uh, you know, the toxic uh, integrity crisis that engulfed her government as a result of Jackie Trad and the Gabbergate uh, affair. Your thoughts on this particular poll, Alexis? Uh, look, I mean, it's just another blow for the Palaszczuk government, isn't it? Um, the latest in a series of blows. You wouldn't want to be Anastasia Palaszczuk um, tonight with these news coming out. Um, and just keep in mind, we're, what, eight odd months out from an election? So this is terrible, terrible timing for her. And if they are hoping to get the party back on track and reclaim some votes and win over some, um, some of the population there, they're going to have a pretty tough slog ahead and not very much time to do it. Gideon, let me put some context around this, though. As much as <laughs> Palaszczuk's numbers are bad and as much as they've done so poorly in those five years, you know, the economy is uh, sort of tanking at the moment, Deb Frecklington, the LNP leader, her numbers are just as bad. I mean, she's down around 22%, net satisfaction rating of minus 30 or something. So it's almost as if, you know, it's a race to the bottom here in Queensland. Uh, it, it shapes up to be an incredibly um, interesting election heading into October 31. Well, it's always interesting in Queensland, but partly because they're always changing the damn voting system. I mean, what I didn't even know, is it optional preferential there? <laughs> is it fully preferential now? I mean, you know, um, uh, they, they had voter ID. OK, it's optional still, all right. Um, uh, and they've changed voter ID uh, laws and all sorts of other uh, things. But look, I, I'm a bit of a mug punter uh, when it comes to elections. And I checked the odds out of curiosity the other day. I think you can get uh, on um, Deb Frecklington about two to one, which is decent value. But can I see wow. Deb Frecklington winning? Uh, yeah, pretty good for a two-horse race, I know. But um, can I see her winning? Not quite. Now, I think Deb Frecklington is a, a good speaker. I think she's, uh, she presents well. I think she's a very likeable and, and young and dynamic and spunky person. But she just misses that killer instinct. She just misses that X factor mm. that you need to take down an incumbent premier. Uh, the other thing is, I think her policies need a bit of a workout. I mean, a couple of years ago, she was getting up in her budget reply speech and talking about preparing Queen Queensland uh, for a future without coal. You know, as you said, Anastasia Palaszczuk mm. has a lot of baggage, but the one thing she has going for her, unlike a lot, almost every other state in the country, is that she's at least able to keep the lights on. Uh, for Deb Frecklington to uh, go for mm. uh, th this way on an issue that completely went against Labor in the uh, miracle election, I might add as well, uh, it's a little bit mm. odd and it seems like an odd strategy to me. Yeah, there's speculation that uh, if they lose the Corumban by-election, the LNP, I mean, an opposition has never lost a by-election in this state in 40 years, that the mm. blowtorch will go upon her. And just going back to that point about coal, Gideon, uh, you know, prior to May 18, I mean, uh, you know, Jackie Trad, the Deputy Premier, uh, <laughs> who I must say is an albatross around Palaszczuk's neck, she was talking about how, you know, miners in central Queensland need to reskill, And we saw, Linda Gideon... Code in, uh, y y you know, Herbert and, uh, and Dawson and Capricornia and Flynn, those central Queensland seats, there was a landslide vote against Correct. the Labor Party. And that's where Bill Shorten, I think, lost the election.